Community is shocked once again after this four year old was killed in the house fire off of Myers Road. And you can see already a small memorial is growing for um, who family has identified as John Paul Leonard to us. They came here, cousins and family just came not too long ago and spoke with us on the scene. Many are asking if something could have been done to avoid this tragedy. Father stood out here crying and begging, begging for anybody to go in to save his son. Questions after a four year old was killed by flames. It was chaotic, it was horrible. According to Pritchard Fire, they got a call about a fire at one, and they responded within four minutes. That call upgraded before they even got on scene. Back portion of the house was uh, fully involved. Uh, with smokes and flames showing. Chief David Hale says the fire is believed to have started with the dryer and quickly spread to the room the boy was in. During the time that we arrived to where the conditions were unsafe for anyone uh, to enter certain portions of, of the building and uh, trying to identify and locate a victim under those circumstances are somewhat challenging. Pritchard has also recently had issues with non functional fire hydrants. A few months ago, Chief Hale told us he wasn't sure if some of the newly installed fire hydrants were operational. We asked him if hydrants had been an issue fighting this fire. Was that a situation? No, for us, our operations, all our equipment, our trucks, um, our hydrants were available. Um, I think the uh, closest hydrant was uh, less than 100 feet from the, from the resident. We found two hydrants close to the home, one right across the street. It's unclear if that was operational or if it was the one the chief was referring to. But he says even if there hadn't been a working hydrant, they had a backup. We were able to pull up on scene with 2,000 gallons of water uh, before we even uh, hooked up to a hydrant. And the fire is still under investigation, particularly the timeline of when this all happened. Now, the Pritchard Fire Chief also says that, above all, their condolences are with the family of John Paul Leonard. In Pritchard, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.